What's going on? And welcome to the Game Pass Hero, where today we're going to be playing a game on Game Pass. I don't know if you could have guessed it, but we is. Now, I just started this game and recorded a little bit, and then my cat jumped up and turned my computer off. So, new game. We're going to be the Void. We are a Chthonic Darkness entity from the Void Dimension. He's pretty cool. I'm the Keeper of the Void Dimension and Bringer of Darkness. I'm the incarnation of a whole dimension. What could be able to stop me? I don't know. Hold LBRB. Yes, we will delete the game. Don't know what was happening in the game. Just got it turned off. So let's watch this intro again, shall we? Strange, isn't it? From childhood, we have been told that the universe is endless. Endless. It was said that there are millions of worlds out there. Millions. And that none of them can be reached. None. They said that they were thousands of light years away from us. But what if we lived in a multiverse? But what if this is not the whole truth? What if we live in a multiverse where a thin membrane separates worlds from each other? And this membrane is not as strong as it seems. Seven worlds, seven variations of Earth were instantly merged. Those few who survived called this cataclysm the Shift. Lutonland. After the shift, the worlds of Lutonland disintegrated, but its world matrix retains the traces of them. They are still hot and humid, and still full of dangerous flora and fauna. Bore me, baby! Well, like, to be born? Oh. I turned up the volume a little bit. Hopefully it'll be a little bit more nice than its audio. Let's go to the darkness and look at the eyes. <clears throat> the space is dark and silent. A voice resounds in your head, breaking this silence. Each word like a supersonic cannon shot. I made you. I created you. Who am I? You are nothingness, just like me. Oh. They call us the Void. You and I are one, but you have a purpose. You can leave this place and meet with them, the envoys from other dimensions in the center of creation. No. Oh. You got a lot nicer as time went on. Um, how did you create me? I made you from parts, from anything that reaches me from the worlds. Follow the thread. It will bring you to the root of creation, to the city of all dimensions, the city of Archibon. Collect the seals of the six heralds and bring them back here. They have many realms. We have essence. They want our essence because we have so much. Let them give us their realms so we can have many realms as well. Go and collect the seals of six dimensions. The voice of the dimension trails off, but you can still feel its presence. Well, that's nice. Uh, yeah, I'll ask you a question. Before that, you have to ask yourself, who are you? Um, I am not a creation of my maker. That's lame. I am nobody, just a spectator. No, 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 no. I'm not death and destruction. I'm a truth seeker. You have their mind, but you and I are one. I made you similar to them. So you don't know everything that I know. I will tell you with their words. That's tearing my voice up. <coughs> Excuse me, I can't keep doing that. His voice is going to kill me. What are we? What is essence? 
Why don't we have any realms? Why do we need these six seals? Sure, what are we? We are the void. We watch. We devoured their realms. We turned them into essence. We disassembled and studied their creations. We have always been. We simply awoke here one day, in this nothingness between the worlds, where you hear only vibrations and see only reflections. We found a way to penetrate this shell, Giggity, to peer at the realms themselves, but they melt under our gaze, decomposing into dust and essence. We are the void, and we have become self-aware. Sure, sure, sure. You know what? I feel like I can piece together the rest. Maybe we'll ask uh, you on our next life, buddy. Use my mind bullets. Let's examine this corpse. I cannot. Whoa. What the f. What was that? Oh. So, like a block, a dodge, and an attack. Oh. Hey, what's up, dude? Press down on the D-pad to open the communicator. This is an incredibly important device that lets you communicate across dimensions. You'll get messages containing information about the world around you and requests from beings you meet on your travels. Go. Cool. Sure, collect the Herald Seals. You might run into enemies. To dispatch them, press X to attack. Hiya, hiya, ow, it hit me. It hurt me good. Find out who Clear was and who killed him. Clear ribs. Press right bumper to activate a shield that protects you from any single source of damage once. What the frack? Are you seeing all this information? Uh, okay. World void dimension, sure. Journal obligation. Oh, that's, that's like my main quest because it is an obligation. Herald of the God of Emptiness, huh? Archibon, use the pier to reach Archibon. Find out who Clear was. Clear ribs. Cost two energy. I have energy? I do, I have five. Creates a mine that explodes when it takes damage or three seconds after it's created. If I hold right bumper. Generates a shield that protects against one attack. It lasts for an unlimited time. Does it? Oh. Oh. Okay, let's go. Hi, I'm the void. I've come to be friends. Oh, I lost my MP3 player. And now I'm falling. And I'm caught in a cat's cradle. What on earth? Notes can be acquired from the same source as runes, but unlike runes, their value is fixed and depends on their level. You can transfuse them? Okay. I am so lost. Oh, hey, eyeball. What's up, Viticus? Herod, 
My greetings, I'm Vidicus. By sheer coincidence, I became the guardian of this herb, and I'm obliged to help you. The fact that the universe hangs in the balance after all. <laughs> I apologize, where are my manners? You probably want to have a look around and get acclimated first. I've waited a very long time for this meeting, and I could wait a little while longer. Come and find me when you are ready to discuss business. All right, Viticus. This creature's flesh blends with the stones around the pier. It seems alive, but didn't catch that last part. That looks effed. This device resembles a locked door. Sure, sure, sure. Request item. Primordial matter. The fart noise says no. The fart noise says no. You always listen to your farts. Oh, calm down, energy. Whoa. A lot of frame time errors there. The device in the center of this table shows the current state of the planes of reality. Cool. Yeah, what's up, Viticus? Okay, I can't talk to you. I guess I need to look at this. A dimensional pier like the one I used to get here, but this one's a lot bigger. All right, Viticus. Hey, did you get a good luck around? Uh, yeah, dude. What happened to Archibon? Well, Archibon once stood on this very spot. Well, more precisely, the cosmically massive core of creation stood on this spot, and the six districts of the Archibon surrounded it. When you were on your way to the Council of Heralds, there were a few who knew of this, but it seems that one of them did not want you to make it there. There was a coup in Archibon, and someone used Marduk's personal weapon. I'm not hinting at anything. Marduk's personal weapon to sever your thread from the core of creation, plunging the void dimension into the abyss and spilling its essence into the center of creation, directly into Archibon. Only it just so happened that your core is here, and the core of creation fell into the abyss along with your dimension. And Archibon fell too, of course, and everything else. Everything is sliding into the abyss. Through this hub dharma created, slowly, gradually, like through the eye of a needle. What happened to the other worlds in the dimension and dimensions? Well, the core of creation is falling into the abyss and dragging every layer of the universe along with it. We can't stop it. The core has already passed the event horizon, but we can temporarily raise it from the abyss and gather mass from a few divine cores. This should be enough for us to create a new reality. Easy. Uh, why do you mean we? You, me, the keeper, those few immortals who have not yet fallen into the abyss along with the core of creation. No one knows how much time we have left. I see. Go to the central pier. The keeper has everything ready. The pier will take you to the Q dimension. Well, what is left of it after time? It's time in the abyss. It is a world of arid deserts. Hot during the day and cold at night. Do not expect a warm welcome, but a hot one. From the inhabitants. They know about as much about heralds as they do about waterfalls. What do I need to do in the Q dimension? You must activate all seven gravitation appears in the Q dimension, which will transfer some mass to the hub and unlock a pathway to the Divine Palace. Then you will just have to convince the Dimensions God to bequeath all his mass to the hub core. That is all. Viticus makes a strange motion and laughs. <laughs> what do you know about the Q dimensions God? 
One of the two original gods, the one that now calls himself Motor, he used to go by a different name, I heard legends from the ancient essences that long, long ago he was the god of thunder or lightning until he met Kishtara, Kish Kishatra, Kishatra, who taught him how to play Agon. That is all I currently know about him. Yeah. Okay. Are you as lost as I am? Because I don't have any clue what's going on here. The Keeper, you. You are not prepared. It was incredibly difficult for me to raise your core from the Abyss. It seems she is speaking in a dream. Fidicus, that lazy blabbermouth, didn't explain it to you. This is not Archibond, Harold. Refresh your memory and your skills. You will need to be prepared for battle. The keeper points you to a door leading to another dimension. All right, begin training. Through about as much slowdown as anyone could ever expect to exist in a video game. Loot and land. Ooh, it was a bunch of super jungle worlds. And now it's not. If I were you, I wouldn't listen to what the Keeper thinks of me. She sleeps all the time, but still calls me lazy. What nonsense. The eyeball levitates up and down furiously. It's just that there's so much going on, and I occasionally forget important things. Right, let's get down to business, as you've already figured out. This is a training room. I currently have a combat simulation running in it. Vidicus floats closer to you. Between you and me, there are no other simulations. I haven't created them yet. We will be using this combat simulation to see what you can do. Yes. If you don't mind, I'll be recording your training. It can prove useful when we train future heralds. He squints. Well, even if you do mind, I'm still going to record it. That's my job, after all. I had to ask for appearances sake. All right, let's start training. I don't like Viticus. He reminds me of 343 Guilty Spark. And I'm just not on board. Yes. Whack, whack, whack. Pick up Nox. Using consumables. To heal yourself, first press Y. Then press X to break the healing item. Whoever attacks the item first gains the effect, whether that be you or the enemy. Interesting. Ow! You frackin' jerks. That part didn't count. Didn't come out well, but I have to... Oh, you're recording me, like, uh, like literally. Yep. Wink, wink, not mad for the first time. I'll kill you. Uh, oh, that was epic. I didn't know you could do that. Use Y that, oh, I have to do it again. Pick up the mechanical claws. You got it. Mechanical claws can perform a combo. Press X three times in quick succession to execute it. The last attack on the combo would deal the most damage, but be careful, the combo drains a lot of stamina. Heralds can use the enhanced skills of their items. Depending on the type of item, press the button corresponding to it. After the indicator appears and fills up over the character, release it. Each item has its own enhanced skills. These can be attacking abilities, defensive abilities, or temporary enhancements. These claws don't seem as good as my previous claws. Except for that. A thousand damage. Every item has a certain level of durability. When an item breaks, the game enters a tactical pause state where you can swap out your broken item if you have a replacement. Press XB or RB to swap out the corresponding item. Uh, RB? No, X? X, okay. Press right trigger to continue. Oh, I can't, I have nothing. Pick up the sour fan good. 
Uh, to use an enhancer, press Y and then X to break the enhancer. All enhancers temporarily improve various qualities of the Herald. Pick them all up. Um, I don't like you. Oh, you're done, son. If you hit an enemy and see a blue shield, it means that more than 40% of your attack was absorbed by enemy armor. It's better to use empowered attacks against armored enemies since these attacks can pierce through armor and deal substantial damage. Goodbye. Oh, you're still alive, huh? Man, combat's weird. In addition to the usual items, fallen enemies will drop a grain of essence. The bigger and stronger the enemy is, the more essence will be dropped. The essence is used to enhance cores. Accumulation of essence in a core enhances its passive bonuses. I've only been reading like the first page. Have there been multiple pages the whole time? Targets killed by a decreation have the highest drop values. What's a decreation? Of essence, runes, nodes, and consumables. This type of death blocks the possibility of autopsy. Targets killed by laceration have an increased chance of organ drop, but standard values for essence, runes, nodes, and consumables blocks the possibility of an autopsy. Mortification. I have standard drop values, but I can perform an autopsy. Show me what mortification is. I have no idea. Incineration. I know that one. I have higher than average drop, but no consumables, no autopsy and explosion. Hilarious. Have average chance of organ and essence drop. Low values for runes, nodes, and consumables. This type of death blocks the possibility of autopsy. Okay. Oh, hey, what's up, Orb? Well, I would say we could all call our first joint project a success. By the way, what do you think of him, Harold? Who? The red-robed nomad, of course, is the pinnacle of my creativity. I painstakingly recreated every single detail, so he would closely resemble the most common of the Q-Dimension inhabitants you will encounter. Once I improve his voice module, the locals won't be able to tell he's not one of their own. I have nothing to compare it to. Press left trigger to use an explosive. If you hold left trigger, you can aim more accurately. Bombs and grenades are highly effective against grouped up enemies, but be careful, they can hurt you too. Well, I don't want to use them because they're so limited. All right, let's get out of here, I guess. Foundation pier. All organs can be created in the biomat? What the f What kind of weird body horror nightmare am I a part of? What's up, girl? Her consciousness is not present. She exists in other dimensions right now, and it's impossible to tell when she will return. Okay. You can use dimensional peers to fast travel around the world. Once a peer is activated, you can teleport to it at any time. Alpha Pier, it is. Recipes are unlocked when you kill opponents of different species. Ooh, this place is pretty. Ask the huntsman where the core is, huh? What's up, dudes? Ow! I don't know what I thought that was, but it scared me. What's this stuff even for, I wonder? Get out of here, you little bugs. I'm the physical presence of a god, you jerks. I can break rocks? Uh, 
okay. What the heck? I am on some kind of acid trip. Move to your destination. Oh, that's the core. Stop. Why do I need to ask the huntsman? It's 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 right here. I mean, we'll go we'll go talk to the huntsman, but I I'm pretty sure I have found the core. Ian's camp. Up or down? What's up, dude? This strong, experienced warrior seems to be caught off guard when you appear. Oh, mother of my boys. I can't tell if you're real or not. What are you? I'm real. Hang on. You're a herald, aren't you? Immortal messenger of the gods. I need your help. Please, whatever god you serve, help me and I will help you with anything you need. You notice this being has a very tangible core. Only a relatively ancient entity could have one like that. All right, I'll listen to you and then decide whether I help or not. Recently, the animals we hunt have become more aggressive. We spotted red vinegroons who are more heavily armored than normal and can spit acid. Some of the red ones are even gigantic. I've never seen anything like them. Perhaps they crawled out from under the ground, wakened by all these vibrations. What vibrations? What? You don't hear them? I can even hear them right now. And they drive me mad at night. I figured out where they're coming from. There's a big, shiny core in the desert that I'd never seen before. It's giving off powerful vibrations, which I followed to find it. Can you show me where it is? Hunter marks the core on your map. When I saw it, the legends about the heralds, messengers of the gods were the first things that came to mind. How you appear when the world is about to change or its time has come. Got it. Continue your story about the Venegroon. I can't keep doing his voice. It's going to kill me. Uh, we don't have the right weapons to hunt creatures like these, especially the big ones. We haven't figured out tactics for fighting them yet. So we always did our best to avoid the red Venegroons, especially the warriors. But that night we decided to ambush one. <coughs> I'm dying. Uh, and fight it to see what we could, no could do. My students have been asking me about this for a long time, and I, fool that I am, finally agreed and planned the hunt. The hunter observes the sky through all his devices. Like the Metastorm is winding down. Looks like the Metastorm is winding down. It's going to get very hot on the surface soon. The wrinkles on our necks and chest will be irritated even at night. I'm wounded. I need healing, ammo, and supplies, but I'm afraid the younglings won't last long enough. If they're still alive, that is. Can you find the hunters and bring them back here to the camp? Oh, uh, I wanted more of the story. I'll see what I can do. Man, does everyone have like a billion things to say? He put stuff on my map. I won't be in fighting shape for a while, but I bid you find the young ones first. I don't think they'll last more than seven day night cycles in this heat with what supplies they have. Speaking of supplies, they probably ran out of them. Here, take some. This should be enough to sustain them once you find them. Yeah, I'll do my best, pal. Hi. You see a being ragged in, in a ragged orange robe, his face completely covered by a metal mask holding a massive weapon. He disassembles, cleans, and tunes its weapon with precise motions. As he notices you, he freezes like a statue, and you can sense his dumbfounded gaze from behind the visor of the mask. The visors, apparently. Hello. The being wipes the visors of his mask and shakes his head from side to side. This can't be a dream. I just can't believe it. Harold? 
Abyss, take me. How is this possible? After taking several deep breaths, the being calms down and more or less comes to his senses. The nomad kneels at your feet, my lord. My name is Angle of the Chinabari tribe. Please accept this gift as a token of my appreciation. The nomad hands you a bundle and stands up. Thank you. Accept bundle. Tangy Fingood. Hmm. My lord, my life is in your hands and you can dispose of it in any manner you wish. You can summon me at any time and I'll follow the path you direct me down until my spark fades out. I will await you here until you show me your will and summon me into your service. If I can help you with answers, then I await your questions. Uh, let's talk some other time, dude. Like, a follower sounds cool, but like, I don't want to get you killed. What was that? I saw something. Was it just a pickup? Okay, fine. This game is like the weirdest thing. Hey, little bird. Oh, I'm sorry, pal. Oh, hey, what's up? Throwing knives. Knives can be used to inflict damage on distant targets. Ordinary knives are weak and barely enough to get rid of shields, while more advanced knives can be a powerful weapon. I have no idea what is going on. Ah, no, I mean, you saw that, right? Did you? Is that a siren outside of my house or in the game? I, I don't even know anymore. All right, let's go save these kids. Scout the area at the coordinates for the refraction. Find the second group of hunters. Find the first group of hunters. Activate the alpha core. Which group of hunters is the children? Incoming transmission, yes. No access to info, what? Clear, I really don't think this is a good idea. Think about it. You should say no. Admit it. You're jealous. You are not worthy. You will regret that you said that. We'll talk once I return in my new form. Let's not put it off any longer. I'm behind your back. Turn around and face your death. Wh what? I'm so confused. Okay, one of these is children. Two groups caught in the trap. I'll need to hurry if I want to save everyone. Both groups have the same amount of supplies. Uh, yeah, I don't... Okay. I guess it doesn't matter. Also, I will go to the closest one first oh that's really far what about this one 1. 1.7 what's this one 1. 1.5 this seems like the way to go I'm gonna tell you right now that there are some times where I watch movies read books hear stories and I'm like I would not ever want to be in that world this is one of those worlds. I do not ever want to be here. Ever. I was going to, uh... Yeah, 
I get wrecked. I was gonna try to smash him and I failed. All right, all right, all right. Get owned. Get back in the corner. You live there. Grants a hundred essence. Chance of deflection. Armor plus three. Stacks up to three times. Sour Fanguard. Uh, knives. Uh, okay. Amplifiers are on Y, right? Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. Grants 100 essence. Sour fan good. And this one is healing. All right, give me, uh, give me that. It didn't work. Okay, 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 there we go. That's not the one I wanted. Give me that one. Sure. Red glass knife, 200 damage. Red glass shard, 50 times three to five. Yeah, let's switch these. Flying poison needles. Okay. I know what I'm doing. Isn't this supposed to last indefinitely? I must have gotten hit. Wheel. Oh, that's a red vinegaroon. Oh, vinegaroon's like a, a thing that's like a, uh, whatchamacallit. Oh no. They're not scorpions, but they look like scorpions. Right? Um, hook me up with this. Get wrecked. Hey, I was really just talking crap, but it actually worked. Yeah. Stop trying to run away from me. I'm out of energy. He's healed. Destroy him. Okay. You know what? I'm feeling pretty confident. I'm feeling pretty confident. Oh yeah, you guys are done for. Hold on, I'm healing. Ah, thank you for waiting. Oh, it just made, it just gave me a little poopy. Ooh, he actually hit me. So when I kill stuff, do I get? No. It seems like when I'm out of combat, I get my little charges back. Hmm, 
interesting. Water skin, hearts, pulp, everything you could ask for. So over there on the mini map, it's looking like there might be the, uh, the X seems to be an exit. Hey, what's up, dude? Colrin. You see two beings. The one closer to you seems to have been in a fight. Their red robe is scorched in several places and their body is covered in bleeding wounds. Nice. The being gestures at you, then watches you attentively as though expecting you to attack. Copy the gesture. The being lets out its breath when it sees you gesture and the atmosphere becomes slightly lighter. Well met, Wanderer. It is rare to come across a friend in the wastelands. The being study you intently from head to toe as if seeing you for the first time. They point to different parts of your body in disbelief. When they get to the core, both beings let their hands drop and fall in silent. The gods sent us a herald. How amazing. Yes, you are correct. I'm a herald. Praise the gods! I am Cobra the Nomad, Huntress in Training. Oh, my bad. She's got a, she's got a deep voice. Uh, I know the traditions. Ian told me everything. Please accept this humble gift, Harold. She hands me a gift. Thank you. Um, how are you holding out? How's your equipment? Reinforce the hunters. Are these the ones that I'm supposed to reinforce? I don't know. I'm going to reinforce the hunters. Uh, we have a few bullets left. We haven't slept in two days, and the last time we ate was four days ago. We could help out in a fight, but without ammo or anything, it wouldn't be much help. Oh, I could give you stuff. Hold on, let's just go back. I'm just going to show you the way out. Like, stay back? I mean, you guys had ammo sitting right here. Why didn't you take it? Folk medicine. Love it. All right. Come on, you two. Let's, let's leave. As far as I am able, we will... Oh, I made a mistake. Enemy attack buff. Enemy damage is increased by 100% after an attack that successfully hits you. This is indicated by stars over their heads. Stars are lost over time and turn into shields that block a single hit. Cool. No! No! Not my buddies. Fan goods. When you touch a fan good seed, you spend one essence and try to fertilize it. If you're successful, it will start growing fruit, which you can collect after some time to use as medicine or explosives. Weird. All right, you two. I really appreciate your help, but keeping you alive ain't easy. Let me uh, let me heal up. That's not how that works. Uh, how do I just get this one to be the one that goes down? I have to cycle them. Okay, sure. This is a lot more stressful now that I'm trying to keep people alive. I can't pick up that little blue orb. Uh, switch me to this. Yeah. 
No, my little buddies. What are you? Can I talk to you guys again? Can I change my mind about giving you health bonuses and stuff? No, come on. Are you guys good? Can you guys heal? Can I heal you somehow? Please don't die on me. Level up. What does this do? Select a slot to unlock. Okay. What is it? What does unlocking a slot do? I will unlock a red slot. Cool. Sure. All right, we got another person over here. Oh, no, it's the exit for them. Oh, I gotcha. Okay. Thank the gods. We are out of danger now. The nomad turns to you, radiating gratitude. And it's all thanks to you. I will remember this. I can make my way to the camp from here. Thank you, Harold. Your gratitude's enough for me. Your kindness will not be forgotten. Ayan and I will always welcome you with open arms. You will find Ayan's camp here. The nomad points to a spot on the map. All of Mad Zenta will know you soon enough. Thank you, Harold. Karma. Virtually all actions will have consequences in the form of karma. Karma affects how characters treat you, the prices, and most importantly, the dimension's final fate. Oh. All right, so you guys are good? Okay, cool. I need to go back and see what this thing is before I go. I didn't want you guys to come with me because I don't want you guys to die. Yeah, give me all these items. Give me my loot. Yeah, here it is. Fifteen bronze coins, huh? Cool. All right, let's get out of here. Ah! Did I leave you behind somehow, dude? I can't attack you. Give me a second. I'm not great at stamina management. I just want to be, like, moving all the time like it's Hades. Now, just out of curiosity. Out of curiosity. Do you think I can walk out this way? Global map. Okay. Easy as that. Let's go save these other kids. These ones I, I will give some resources to. The young ones told me how you saved them. Thank you, Harold. I hope you will be able to save. We're just not going to discuss it. That was enough. All right. All right. That's reasonable. That's reasonable. This man's having a hard time. Did I tell you that my cat turned my computer off while I was recording and I was very sad about it? It was a bummer. Get owned. Give me a second. I need my stamina back. See ya. All right, got to manage the stamina. I'm going to try to get rid of everything that I can. 
towards this exit. All right, so I can't hit the third of the combo. I could only hit twice, and then I need to advance or retreat. Ooh, that time I didn't though. That time he just got he just got owned. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me my loot. Give me my loot. Well, now that I'm actually, like, being nice to people, things are a little nicer. The world isn't so terrible. I thought I was just going to be the void that killed everything, but... I don't have to be. Shield generator. Press RB to gain 100 armor for a short time. This is a good way to reduce huge incoming damage. Okay. Doesn't RB... Healing items... You can harvest seeds from Pandora roots. Oh, I just I just go up to it and hit A. Fair enough. Yeah, get against the wall, fool. What is this? What is this little blue thing? Frack. I don't see any little blue things. Nope. I must have little blue... Th is it these? Is it these Pandora seeds? Is that what that is on the ground? Or is it like a gland? A primitive gland? How do I know if I'm at the limit of what I can use I don't know oh I thought I already went over here but apparently I did not oh y'all in the corner now fools four needles now, are needles like, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I cycled the wrong thing. And then... A hundred damage. That sounds like a lot. Let's try it out, because I have a lot of them. Maybe it's not that great. Well, then using them won't be a big deal, huh? All right, let's recharge our shield. Yes, let's destroy all this crap. You jerk. All right, so let's save these needles for something I don't want to get near, is what it seems like. What are you going to do, little bug? Get out of here. 15 bronze coins. Get owned. What's up, Tumbleweed? Oh, I broke it. Oh, I can level up again. For reasons. Reasons that I don't yet understand.
Excellent. 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 Pick up rock. Break cactuses. Get needles. Don't walk by healing plants. Uh, interact with healing plants. Keep an eye out. What's up, Rune? You see two beings. One takes a step in your direction, covering their partner. Dark scarlet patches on the being's red robe shimmer in the sun. Blood. The being looks at you intently and waves his hand in an unusual gesture. Copy the gesture. So you're not an enemy. Thank the gods. The masks make it hard to tell how the being feels, but he seems glad. Both beings freeze, simultaneously tilting their heads in disbelief, and then start examining you closely, occasionally making strange gestures as they do. The one that is closer to you starts talking, eyes downcast. You look like a herald. You have a core. Are you one? Greetings! Oh, I hit yes. Greetings, herald. I am Rune, the Nomad, and that there is Zomida. We were wounded on a hunt, and we are not strong enough to get past those beasts on our own. The hunters have become the prey. Most ironic. Forgive me for asking a one-sided favor of you, but could you help us get out? I'm afraid we won't last much longer. How are you doing for equipment? We are going to give you a uh, nomad food times four. I have a little food. Take it. I have the water skin. Take the water skins. And I will give you supplies. Have the supplies. I don't have anything useful with me right now, but I already helped your buddies out, so we should be good. Uh, I know why you're here. I'll show you the way out. There was one area I did not explore, buddies. So if y'all could, uh, y'all, y'all gonna escort me. And you guys have been a lot of fun to hang out with, but... Oh, it's just right over here. But I cannot imagine that one that I can bring with me would really help me in a fight, except be a distraction for something else. I don't know what you're gonna do, bug. No, not my buddies! I need my energy back. The combat in this is actually pretty awesome. Hey, whoa, 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 not my buddies, not my buddies. Have a needle, punk. I must use some other words there that did not intend to. No, get away from my buddy. Oh, yeah, you guys are good. See ya. The way out of this hell. Thank you, Harold. We can get to the camp on our own from here. We will never forget your kindness. Safe travels. We put a lot of stock in good deeds. You will always be welcome among us. My home is your home. You already know where to find our camp. I and will always be glad to see you. All of Mad Zenta will know you soon enough. All right, cool, dude. Talk to you later. And I think it's time for me to go too. Nice. Press any button to continue. There's the alpha pier. So we've gone through Grover Canyon, Groover Can, Goover Canyon. I got there eventually. And the Vinegroon Lair. Can I not go into the center? No. That's as close as I can get. That's just uh maybe where the final final confrontation might take place. Yeah, we're going to head back to the camp. We're going to go check in on our new little buddies. The mirror. I do have a quest for the mirror. Let's go into Ian's camp. Dude, this game has been insane. 
Oh, dude, the camp is beautiful at night. What's up, Chief Hunter? Greeting, Harold. I pray for good news. I would like to talk to you about your people. I saved all your hunters. You did a good job indeed. They are here, not unharmed, but still alive, which is more than I could have hoped for. I am in your debt, Harold. Oh yeah, he's Southern. I'm in your debt, Harold. Harold, is that how you say it? The hunter makes a gesture of deepest respect and hands you a bundle of items. You need it more. Decline and leave. Completed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need your I don't need your stuff though. Uh what can you teach me? Ha ha ha! What can an old hunter teach you, Harold? Well, but I can see you're serious. A nomad looks deep in thought. Well, there is no point in teaching you to hunt or about the habits of animals. You don't need to know how to orient yourself in this terrain. Hmm. How about dissecting animals? Tell me more. Uh, well, something tells me that you'll have use for this. Besides, there's nothing too hard about it. Every type of creature needs a unique approach. But you should always start with the stomach. I'll show you on vinegaroons. Then you can apply the techniques to the other animals yourself. And the hunter pulls out a vinegaroon corpse and starts cutting it up, giving you detailed instructions at each step. As you can see, even I can't always extract the organs in perfect condition. If you have more than you know what to do with, I'd be glad to buy them from you if you come by. Ian makes a welcoming gesture. I would love to look at your wares, fool. The Wasteland Traders use a barter trading system. This means if you want to buy an item, you can only pay for it with other items. And if you want to sell, then you need to choose what items you will receive in exchange. However, traders won't turn down free items. I hit continue, but it kicked me out. I'd like to see your wares. Uh, y'all got a lot of stuff and I don't, but I got a lot of water. Water, oh my, 24, 24, 31 primitive brains. What can I do with this stuff though? Is there, there are materials for like crafting, but crafting what? Although this brings up some good questions. Do you have node runes? I have a node rune. Plus 16 to max damage, plus 0.2 to armor piercing. Interesting. And you have runes too. Might too? Ooh, buddy, I'm gonna have to look through all this stuff because I have no idea what any of it is. They have, he has a uh, new claws. Reaper claws. Oh, I mean, they seem good. Anyway, I'll look at that stuff later before the next one. So anyway, thank you all for joining me. This has been Undungeon and it has been actually super, super cool. I don't really understand if it's a roguelike or roguelite, I mean, or, or if it's an RPG or I have literally no idea, no idea whatsoever. So maybe I'll figure it out next time I play. I have no idea. I didn't read the description. I try not to. Anytime I'm playing a game on Game Pass, I do the absolute best I can to just avoid the description unless I'm not interested in it at all. Then I'll read the description because I'd rather just find out on my own what's going on, you know? Test the game out for myself. Why, why tell me what you are when I can just experience it and be surprised? So anyway, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.